Hi, I'm Kira from InkyProductions.etsy.com, and I'm here to talk to you about sales and how to increase them and your traffic to your Etsy shop. Are your sales low? Well, there's always things you can do, and trust me, there's always someone who's doing 20 times more than what you're doing, so it's always handy to have a list. And I have one right here to provide you guys with some excellent ideas to help you out in increasing your sales and traffic to your site. If you have others, I would love to hear them, so submit a comment, okay? Okay, so the first one is submitting your items through Google Base. This is really easy, especially as Let's Et is a site that automatically takes your entire shop and makes it into a .xml or whatever that is that you can easily upload and submit to Google Base. Literally less than five minutes of your time. You can do this every three weeks and you're at the top of search engines. Create a Facebook store. Make sure you friend other people with Facebook stores. This is a great way to let other people know that, hey, you're out there. Um, create a MySpace page for your Etsy shop. This is a very good idea, and make sure you include your Etsy mini in there because people can and will click on it. Talk in the Etsy forums. Talk a lot. Um, I have specific areas that I love to browse, but I hear that doing every one of the different types of the forums and topic categories is a good thing. So you can branch out if you want to and see if that helps you. Um, you can do giveaways on blogs or submit freebies to places like the Little Black Box. That is a wonderful advertising tool. You can comment on people's blogs. This is important because it's a very cheap, very free and easy way to make sure that people know who you are. When you submit a comment, make sure that your comment links to your Etsy shop. Very easy to do. Um, and then when people think or look at your comments, they go, ooh, I like what she said, or he said, as the case may be, and they'll click on your link and end up in your Etsy shop. Uh, submit a relevant blog post to Blog Carnival. Like I said, check out Blog Carnival's video to learn more. Um, create a treasury. As the curator of a treasury, if your treasury makes it to the front page, you will get clicked just as often as the featured sellers in your treasury. So this is a good thing. Just, you know, troll the treasury until it drops below 333 treasuries. Or go to Treasury West and wait for 222, I think the number is. Um, let's see. Create new products. Well, that's always an easy thing to do. You're creative and, you know, it's something that you should be able to do when you're in a, you know, a slump. You should always be able to create something. Uh, go back through your shop and change out all your photos. I know, a drag. It has to be done on occasion. It keeps your visitors and your favorite, or the people who favorited you interested and excited in your store. Um, you can list and renew items, hence the whole reason for creating new products is so that you can list new products. Um, join Flickr if you haven't already. Update your Flickr if you haven't in a while. And comment on people's photos on Flickr. Make sure your Flickr profile has your um, Etsy shop link in there as, like, your home page. Um, and don't put the link in any of your photos um, when you talk about them because Flickr doesn't like that and you will get deleted, so that's not a good idea. Um, you can blog, obviously. Do another post. Um, and then for things that are off the Internet, you can submit flyers or a press release or a newspaper ad, and these are great ways to get the, um, the people in your area aware of what you do. And, of course, last but not least, you can... Create and submit a video to Indie 5 Collective. Have a great day, guys. Bye.